Okay, so um, I just wanted to make just a little short little video, y'all, for anybody who might be interested in what um, classical voice technique is about, um, and just kind of see where I'm at, um, anybody who might be following on a page or whatever. So um, classical technique very basically involves um, breathing, um, breathing, from, breathing from here from the rib cage, from in the sound coming from below and not the throat, which I have a very hard time with. Um, it has to do with, um, you know, keeping an open throat, vowels, vowel shape, you know, the, the shape of your mouth for certain vowels, um, you know, your head alignment, your neck alignment. Um, has to do with there's a lot of things that it involves. It's very, um, it's a very physical activity, and um, one of the biggest problems that I have right now is tension in my throat. Because for so long I've sung with only chest voice, and we've been working for the last three months. I've had ten lessons, which is just about three months that I've been doing it. it started in May, and though I've improved a little bit since then. Um, I have a very long way to go, and um, you know because over the last 45 years I've gotten so all, all these bad habits ingrained in me um, so strongly that it's really difficult for me to learn a new way of doing things. <clears throat> and I'm looking at, but this time next year before I really feel like I've made some kind of real improvement. Um, but right now, I think the first couple exercises that y'all are going to hear are, or at least the first one, um, is starting in the passaggio area, which is the middle area between the head voice and the chest voice. And which again, I, I have, that's like one of my real trouble zones is the passaggio. Um, and I have a lot of trouble, like I said, with tension in the throat. Because for so long, for so many years, I've pulled that chest voice up and not used the uh, head voice. I didn't even know, I never accessed my head voice before, till now, you know, till I started taking lessons. So, it's something new for me, and um, I have a hard time, I'm having an easier time getting into the head voice, but I have a hard time staying in the head voice. Um, and again, that middle area, the beside you area, is really difficult for me. And when you hear the first exercise, I think, you'll probably think, well, what? that's no big deal. Those notes seem pretty easy. But they're not at all. They're not easy at all. And you'll hear the, the higher I go with it, the further into the passaggio I get, the more difficult it becomes for me. Um, but, so, anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, let y'all know, you know, kind of where I'm at right now. And just let y'all know sort of what it involves. And um, don't expect anything, you know, great, because it's really not going to be that good. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I have barely touched the tip of the iceberg with this whole thing. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all. And you'll see me looking straight ahead in the mirror, because there's a mirror right here. And I always use that when I practice, so I can see what I'm doing. You can watch the tension. Um, try to keep that out, which, again, I have a real hard time with. And, um, you know, the shape of the mouth and all that sort of stuff. And I'll be listening with, to my lesson with this. So, anyway, there you go. <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> oh,
That was F sharp. It's the highest I've been yet. <clears throat> 